All right, so we got some spicy news from actual, credible data miners that talk about a lot of things on Capitano. I honestly don't understand where they got this much info from, like it's a page long. So let's check it out. Before starting the video, I would like to apologize for the latest video that I did, which talked about the Archon rerun. I should have said spoiler warning for newer players in that video, since I did talk about a lot of stories in it. Again, I'm sorry and next time I'll be sure to give a spoiler warning. All right, then this video also contains a spoiler warning if these alleged data become true. Things like these are always subject to change, but might become true as well. So again, spoiler warning. The main source is HomGCat. So according to them, Capitano's codename is still Capitano. He appears to be 40 years of age, but actually is similar in age to Farina, Nahida, and the Cataclysm, so 500 years or so. They even talk about his voice lines and how he sounds, so I guess they have some form of dev build of Natlan or some form of data to say all this, so let's check that out as well. His voice sounds middle-aged, righteous, and stern. He is confirmed to be the first of the Fatui Harbingers and the most powerful of them all, which we all knew by now. There is something called a trail voice line in here, and it's him talking about things. Again, take these as alleged voice lines, so the first one talks about his attack plans or something like that. It talks about how he communicates concisely and shows a very calm and experienced outlook towards his subordinates in a battle. The second voice line talks about how he calmly acknowledges his opponents in a battle. This specific one is towards the Abyss Order. The last voice line talks about his responsibility and his ideals. And I actually like his ideals. No wonder people talk about him so highly like how he will fight to the last moment, regardless of how unmoved the opponent is, regardless of mental invasions, regardless of the hardships, he will respond with determination and will do whatever it takes to fulfill the Tsaritsa ideal. Damn, that hits hard, not gonna lie. I think this talks to a lot of us as well, doesn't it? When faced with harsh situations or any difficulty in life, we try our best to run from it first, rather than being calm and trying to fight and find a solution. It affects us so much mentally, and we just don't know what to do. I totally feel those statements, and I currently needed to hear them. So thank you, Capitano, for your wise words. I hope this actually helped someone who is watching as well. Stay strong. Other than this, we also have personalities and key charms, so let's look at them as well. So he is extremely righteous, hates all evil, has strict moral standards, is strict to himself, but is slightly tolerant towards his subordinates. He follows principles and abides by the etiquettes of battle. He is prone to trickery, and people who try to trick him will soon feel his absolute power. He is said to be demi-human, absolutely loyal to the country, and most times a bit fatherly, but in combat, he shows oppressiveness of absolute power. The most powerful character under the Archons. Personality is reasonable and understanding, chivalric but not rigid. Abides by his own principles in a unique way. That's all we have for now. Not gonna lie, I can respect Capitano. He seems like that one overpowered character we find in anime who we think is bad, but deep down is good. So what do you think? Comment down your thoughts and while you are at it, like and sub too. Oh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, everyone.